Welcome to this session of Take 5, Excellent Answers in 5 Minutes. I'm Kelly McCarthy, and I am joined today by Amy Breckenridge-Gold, Director of Field Education and Scruples Academy for Scruples Professional Salon Products, whose mission is to empower hair professionals with smart solutions to exceed customer expectations. Amy, thanks for joining me. Kelly, thank you so much. I am so excited to be on the webinar today. Excellent. So the question we're addressing in this session was posed actually by a PBA distributor member, Jamie R., who asks, how do I establish educational events for salons that are more profitable and more popular? So Amy, this is likely a question that you've asked yourself a few times. What do you recommend for Jamie and our other audience members? Yeah, absolutely. Um, as director of education, you know, we come across this so often, you know, how can we make this more profitable? And really more, how do we get people to the event? Um, so one of the things we have done that has been very successful is to offer what we call turnkey events. Um, this makes it a little bit easier to book the event because everything's taken care of. We ship everything in. The other thing we look at is limiting the number of attendees. I know in the past we worry about, oh my gosh, am I going to get enough attendees there? And what we try to do is limit it to 20 to 25, where we're really giving great quality education. Um, I think sometimes we're so worried about like reaching out to the masses, but then we don't get enough established education with them. When we do it with higher quality, less clients there, we really have the time to focus on them and kind of really see what they need. Sometimes it's somebody new that needs their hand held a little longer, or if it's a veteran, we need to reignite them. I also look at the differences between hands-on versus demonstration. Um, why hands-on? I have found that so many times you are speaking from stage and you're getting people excited. And by the time they go back, they've lost that excitement. When I give them techniques or if we give them focused education, they love to get their hands in either the product or immediately learning that technique so that they can go back and actually you know, utilize it in their swabs. You know, there's a lot less pressure. So many times we just want to go into product knowledge. And frankly, guys, we're dealing with hairdressers and their brains go out to lunch about every five minutes. So if we can do something, and I'm a hairdresser, I realize that, you know, but do something that we get them engaged, get them actually working with the products, getting up, getting into the techniques, I feel a lot more confident that when they leave these events, they're actually going to take what they've learned, and they're going to be more excited to try something different. Um, another thing to think about, too, how do we make it profitable? You know, we've got them there, we've got them excited. You know, they're enjoying the event, they're ready to go back and do it, but sometimes it's like we forget to make the sale, and I feel that's part of this as well. So one of the things I looked at, you know, many manufacturers have, you know, huge offerings, you know, these big introductory units, and a lot of times when you come to a small focused event, they don't leave because it's too big of a commitment. So what I look at is looking truly at what that event is. So for example, um, if it's a highlighting class, only having a small little highlighting kit available to sell. So focus it on what you're doing. Um, if it's a cutting event, perhaps just having some featured retail products or cutting lotions. Um, if you sell shears or if you're a manufacturer that has something that ties into cutting, having those items available. Um, or also having just smaller packages available. A lot of times, you know, they don't want to take the whole big introductory unit and completely switch out. But you know what? Sometimes a sampling of either a color line or a retail line or whatever it might be, I feel that's a better way that they are excited. It's not a huge commitment, and they're ready to purchase the products at the event. Um, and lastly, you know, you get them excited about what you're doing. Many times what we do is we offer um, a discount for future product purchases. So, you know, they're getting the sample kit and now I can take this and, you know, have a $50 coupon if I want to make the big commitment. Um, the other thing I also like to do too is um, future discounts on future education too. You know, you, you get them there, they're excited, they see what your event has to offer and the fact that it's small and focused. Um, so many times getting them back to the next event too is just going to cement that relationship. Um, so these are just some little tools and tips that I feel that have made our events much more profitable. And again, you know, going back to focused education to get people more excited and actually getting their hands into the products and also into the techniques. Wow. <laughs> that was exactly how it's meant to be. Thank you so much. You offered really great tips. 
perfect explanation for our audience, and you did it so quickly. Amy breckenridge Galtz is a PBA member and the Director of Field Education for Scruples Professional Salon Products. Remember to visit probeauty.org slash edu online to submit your questions for our experts.